does the heart beat? Why does it go contraction, expansion? You see, diastolic, systolic. Why does it do that? It, it could have done other ways. There's lots of ways you could get the blood around uh, the body w without a beat. Why did Allah make it a beat? And then, and then you ask, why did Allah make the breath expansion, contraction? Because Allah is qabil and He's basil. He's the contractor and the expander. And the heart is doing that every moment. You see, your heart is, if you listen to it, they call it lebdub. Right? Lebdub. Right? That's what, they don't know what it's saying, but if you listen closely, you can hear that. I mean, they say like meow in English. That's supposed to be the way a cat sounds. They say meow. Well, in Japanese, they don't say meow. They say something else, like kia. Right? Well, so what is it? Meow or kia? Right? Well, it's just the way they're hearing it. All right? So they're trying to get an approximation. But if you listen to the heart with a stethoscope and very closely, you will hear what it says. It says, Allah, 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 Allah. That's what it's saying. Contraction, expansion. And if you look at the, the, the name, the divine name, Allah. It's a contraction, expansion. That's what it is. That's what the tongue is doing. Allah. Allah, Allah, Allah. That's what it's doing. And this is what the heart is doing. The heart knows who its Lord is. But the nafs has forgotten who its Lord is. And this is because we become tainted with the dunya. We're in the world. We've forgotten who our Lord is. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent messengers to remind us who our Lord is. So that we can return. So that we can return.